Hi friends, uh, since my childhood I wanted to buy a telescope and uh, after a lot of surveys I zeroed down on Newtonian reflectors because of their simpler design and very powerful performance. Uh, Tejraj Mumbai, they have wide variety of models available on their website. I have purchased a Brezza made uh, 150mm Newtonian and uh, some of the photographs are available on the Tejraj website which has been shot by this telescope like this uh, detailed view of moon where uh, crisp detail of craters and moon surface is visible next image is of uh, sunspot which is quite detailed so this video is about uh, unboxing of this telescope and then the specification also I'll be showing some of the photographs which I have shot through this telescope uh, so let's begin uh the packaging is very nice and it's a basically multiple layer of uh, cardboard protecting the telescope and other accessories and uh, it uh, took me quite a while to just open the box itself it's very neatly packed I could not find any damage or any dent even though it was transported through surface transport uh, after two layers of cartons now we can have a actual box where Brezer branding is visible. The model is Brezer Pollux 150. And uh, after opening the box, we will see two compartments. In one of the compartment, uh, the adjustable tripod, uh, which is made of uh, aluminum, uh, was placed. So if uh, aluminum tripod is not that sturdy, but for the beginner's use, uh, it is OK. The IP solder tray is also there and now you can see the adjustable leg tripod it can reach up to a height of uh, around 3 feet or maybe a little higher than 3 feet uh, then comes the optical tube assembly itself the nice thing about the OTA is uh, it's a uh, made of metal and uh, solar filter is also given so you can also do solar observation take photograph of uh, sun and specifically during the um, eclipse it's very helpful now here is the OTA it has a primary mirror 150 millimeter dia and you can see the OTA cover is also the 2 inch rack and pinion uh, focuser and you can see the secondary mirror spider secondary mirror is also quite large it's like 55 millimeter secondary mirror so it's a very beefy uh, Newtonian telescope and 150 millimeter primary mirror dia is a, a considerably okay for deep space object uh, planetary beat uh, uh, moon observations so focuser uh, is also okay it can host 2 inch as well as 1.25 inch eyepieces along with the telescope uh, a lot of documentation is also there uh, I will show them in the end of the video as well these are all uh, Mac 5 star atlas and all this is the counterweight I think total weight would be around 5 kilogram and uh, other than this OTA uh, we get some accessories just to start the observations first eyepiece is a 20 millimeter Kellner eyepiece uh, it's a good one for uh, uh, kind of a DSO observation then we have a uh, 3 cross Barlow it's a plastic Barlow and can't expect much out of it uh, stock Barlow and IPCs are just a basic uh, models and ultimately I have to purchase a new good ones then it ca also comes with the cell phone adapter and LED object finder uh, it's okay not that great uh, then also it has a 4 millimeter uh, Kellner eyepiece for higher magnification uh, planetary and moon observations the mount is uh, equatorial 3 where uh, we can put a payload of around 5 to 6 kgs and uh, a tracking RA motor also can be mounted however that upgrade need to be purchased separately that uh, I'll do a little later uh, these are the RA and deck adjustment uh, knobs and uh, then we have a collimeter piece and as well as a, a small cloth for cleaning and uh, cleaning fluid so that's about it 
uh, in the documentation we got star dial then there is a way how to collimate mag 5 star atlas and uh, it ha also has a DSO catalog uh, Messier catalog uh, the 110 Messia objects and uh, their location in the night sky. So the documentation is fairly uh, neat, that's I must say. So this would be the view after installation of the entire telescope OTA. Uh, these are the few of the photograph of the accessories which we received. Uh, that's how we can mount the cell phone just on top of the eyepiece for uh, taking photograph. For uh, deep exposures astrophotography, uh, RA tracking motor is required which basically counters the earth rotation and keeps the object into the center so that long exposures can be taken. I am also exploring uh, Celestron motor can be fitted into this EQSV mount because that is slightly cheaper. This uh, optional motor is around 9000-10000 rupees. Now, um, now let me discuss the specification and then at the end I will also be showing some of the photograph which I took. As I told earlier it's a 150 uh, millimeter dia parabolic uh, primary mirror based uh, Newtonian telescope. It has a focal length of 750 millimeter which gives around uh, maximum theoretical magnification of 300. Uh, the secondary mirror is also quite large 55 millimeter and it also comes with the 2 inch focuser where 2 inch eyepieces as well as 1.25 inch eyepieces can be fixed. It's quite fast f5 so good for DSO observation. Uh, EQ3 mount is a quite basic and can be upgraded with the RA tracking motor. It comes with few objectives uh, like uh, 20 millimeter kernel and 4 millimeter kernel. Uh, gives a decent magnification with uh, 20 millimeter we can get 37.5 and with uh, 3 class ballo which is a plastic ballo which is not that great uh, the magnification goes to 3 fold also with 4 mm the base magnification is around 187 and uh, then of course you can multiply it by 3 but that magnification is of no use because it is going above the theoretical magnification. I can understand all this information for a novice might be very very you know confusing. So I will be making another video from where I will be telling the basics of telescopes, uh, how to select the telescopes, which one is good for what kind of observation and what should be the basic telescope model, its approximate cost. So people uh, interested in uh, buying telescope or you know learning this science uh, consider a subscription uh, further moving ahead uh, it also comes with a solar filter for solar observation and uh, because it's quite fast deep space uh, you know observation can also be done very easily like for nebulae or galaxy or messier objects as well and also uh, it comes with a 2 inch uh, focuser quite fast f5 so astrophotography also can be done to the certain extent with either DSLR or dedicated um, astro cameras. It also comes with a cell phone camera adapter where we can put our cell phone and mount it on the eyepiece and take the photograph through a cell phone. It has a very basic uh, LED object finder uh, and which need to be upgraded. So that's about uh, the telescope. Now let me jump over to the few of the photograph which I took uh, with this uh, telescope while mounting my cell phone on the objective. Uh, this is the partial solar eclipse which I uh, image through my cell phone uh, using cell phone camera adapter and uh, 20 millimeter Kellner eyepiece. Few of the sunspots are also visible and uh, the surface of the moon is also uh, visible lot of craters are also there and uh, because eyes are having uh, highest dynamic range the views are astonishingly good when you see through your own eyes rather than the photographs. Uh, next uh, image is uh, about Jupiter uh, with three of the Jovian uh, uh, satellites. Uh, this image I took with uh, for a wider view with uh, 20 millimeter eyepiece and then I used a 4 millimeter eyepiece as well and the next image will show some of the details of the Jupiter clouds. 
this image I took uh, with 4 millimeter eyepiece and using my cell phone camera few of the bands of the Jupiter is also visible with some features and mind you the visuals through eyes are far far better as compared to the camera uh, then the next photograph is of moon again with the 20 millimeter Kellner eyepiece I'm planning to purchase few more eyepieces and probably a DSLR so folks who are interested in uh, astronomy astrophotography and if they are beginners and wanted to buy new telescopes and wanted to you know what should be the basis of selection what are the options available in India in particular and uh, whether to go for Newtonian Dobsonian or go for uh, refractors what should they buy and a few of the tips and tricks that also I'll be uh, putting in the form of video and posting it on my channel software processing is a very critical uh, element in in the field of astrophotography and I'll be also making few of the videos for stacking and destacking of the images and doing post processing as well so so folks uh, journey would be interesting in uh, coming days and uh, stay tuned for more videos and more post thank you very much for watching